Are you serious? They finally have a deal in Washington. The debt deal. The debt ceiling's here. The debt ceiling's here. The debt. Somebody raise the ceiling. What does it mean, Paul? It means 84 Tea Party freshmen are pounding their chest this morning because they stood there and they did not blink. But instead, the Republicans and the, and the, and the Democrats and the Independents and President Barack Obama and Harry Reid and John Boner and Mitch McConnell and all the rest of them got together and Nancy Pelosi on the sideline. Everybody got in there and they pounded, they pounded, they pounded, they pounded, they threatened your Social Security checks. They threatened the military's benefits. They threatened the, the soldiers' pay. They threatened to cut off the, the lay people off. They threatened and threatened. And at the end of the day, a nation that's 14.4 trillion with a capital T in debt is now going to cut its debts by 1 trillion over the next 10 years. That means we'll be $13 trillion in debt 10 years from now. Is that going to put food on your table? Is that going to get new jobs in America? Have we changed the policies of why the jobs leave America and go to China and go to Korea and go to Mexico and go everywhere else that they go? Have we changed the tax structure to, in, to incentivize the, nation, the, the companies to bring more business back to America? Have we done anything that would sh slow down the influx of, of uh folks into this country from all around the world as we're, the population has grown to over 400 million people and growing, yet the job market is shrinking? Have we really done anything to change the situation that we have here in America of an, a corrupt, 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 dying, dead dinosaur of a destructive nation that is falling on its face with its immorality? Oh, but we're so happy the rainbow crowd is out because now six states in the union, you you can be married if you're gay. gay. Gay couples can now marry in six states in this nation. And we've got over 60 million dead aborted babies since 1973. And how many other things is going wrong in this country? I am about to my wits end with sin. And here's what the Bible says about it. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. What am I saying? I'm saying, don't put your trust in political parties. Don't put your trust in politicians. Don't put your trust in puppeteers who prophesy their prosperity message to you, yet leave you wallowing in your own misery. Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Come to Jesus Christ and be born again. I'll be right back. Because there's still big news, big news. And I'm very upset about these 140 dead Syrians that President Assad is killing. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Send me a personal message right here. In Jesus' name.